Oh, I have something amazing for you guys today. About four months ago, actually in November of last year, we covered the fastest free-to-play Lydia. I know it was not my account, even though I sort of completed it at the same time. This was the showcase of the Mice account. But today, guys, we have a new world record for the fastest free-to-play Lydia. And we're going to dive into that account. We're going to look at everything. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so welcome to the Shiva 31 account. The format of this showcase is going to be a little bit different than the usual Arbiter showcases because we cannot look at all the teams right now. Instead, we're going to rely on screenshots and his description of which gear he used for each of those champions. So there is going to be a lot of information, but I will uh, add chapters to this video so that you guys can fast forward to, let's say, the faction wars that you specifically want. I will also show the proof at the end of the video and uh, we're going to discuss exactly how long this was. And so you guys all now have a better understanding as what is possible if you focus on this. But I will make something clear right now. Gear swapping is a must and farming silver because of that is also a must. So he relied a lot on the campaign to generate some silver as he was doing some food, but also the spider dungeon to generate silver faster all right so if you want to commit to this uh it is going to probably affect your ability to get other champions but it still should speed things up so let's start with the first one this is going to be his banner lords crypt stage 21 we have azure Cithalia, seneschal senecal gerhard the stone and stag knight for the gear on these champions relentless for this one Cithalia, the speed gear from arbiter seneschal here had relentless gerhard had a cruel uh from his trunda and then we have a stun set on the stag knight obviously this was manual 19 minutes certainly pretty impressive anyway the next one is the dark elves which was completed relatively fast at 10 minutes and 50 seconds almost 11 minutes we have a psylar which is usually in a stun set Caden was in immortal kale was in the nuke trunda set yet again we had a cold heart with her usual gear so maybe we can go over those champions real quick after and then for the pain keeper this one was in immortal gear the next one is the demon spawn crypt which looked like it was quite the struggle because we have 34 minutes to complete this one for the stage 21 with a drekstar umbral fellhound allure and tanix hate flower as for the gear we have drekstar and umbral in a lifesteal which makes a lot of sense because they have the provokes we have a fellhound in a stun set aoe a1 for the allure in relentless absolutely and then for tanix hate flower immortal i remember using tanix hate flower as well she's pretty clutch for this she's basically our only healer and she's guaranteed in the login rewards both of these champions are only level 50 the next one is the dwarf crypt we have uh 10 minutes and 44 seconds very reasonable we do have a trunda and uh, the trunda here i would assume was wearing her usual gear right so this or her gear was being shuffled around quite a bit then we had uh a melga in immortal and i believe we had all the other three in perception so that's rock breaker grizzled yard and rear guard sergeant rear guard sergeant is really clutch for this i would assume grizzled yarl as well and uh only two level 60 champions right or these two champions and all the other ones at level 50 not even fully leveled or ascended i would assume maybe not even any masteries for the Night Revenant, this one looks like it was another major struggle. We have Senatia, Coffin Smasher, Miscreated Monster, Doom Priest, and Sepulcher Sentinel in about 30 minutes, all right? So I maxed out Senatia, which was in a stun set, AOE1. For the Coffin Smasher in Poison, Miscreated Monster in Immortal, Doom Priest, her usual gear, I would assume, and then for the Sepulcher in a lifesteal set. The Lizardman Crypt looks like it was fairly easy because we do have a Krisk in there, but he's not maxed out. Rosin, two Jar Egg, and then a Broadmoss. So for the gear on these champions, we have Perception on both of the Jar Eggs. As for the Rosin, he's in lifesteal. Krisk is in the Arbiter Speed gear, and then we have a Broadmoss in Immortal. 
Then we've got the Ogren tribe, another one that looks like it was relatively easy. We do have a Bellower, Gear Grinder at level 50, Draw Ghoul, not even fully maxed out, Shatter Bones, and Occult Brawler. Both of these are level 60 and fully maxed out. As for the gear, we have a stun on the Bellower, AoE A1, right? You guys are kind of seeing a pattern here. Then for the Gear Grinder, we have a Relentless, Draw Ghoul in Immortal, Shatter Bones in the Speedy Arbiter gear. Uh, he's our turn meter control expert for this faction i use this champion as well and then for the occult brawler in the trunda nuke gear then for the orcs we have another reasonable time only about 10 minutes with robar seer iron brago old hermit and a vrask as for the gear we have relentless on a robar seer has her usual gear we'll check that after iron brago in lifesteal uh, old hermit in immortal and then vrask in immortal as well then we've got the sacred order crip with a rochard armager fenax sang Sanguinia and Cardinal. As for the gear on uh, this faction, we have Arbiter Speed Gear on Rochard. We have Armiger in Relentless. Uh, Fenax has the Trunda Nuke Gear. Sanguinia has a uh, Immortal set, and then so does Cardinal. Uh, we can also see that they are not fully maxed out yet again. Then we have the Skinwalker Crypt with a very similar team to my own with Basher, Steel Skull, Ursine, Brachis, and Hawkorn Smash Lord. Uh, literally, I had a Rain Beast here instead which is a little bit problematic with this boss but it can still work if you time the skills correctly this is a relative struggle here as well with 21 minutes so for the gear on uh, these champions we have basher and steel skull in relentless we have ursine in lifesteal brachis in the trunda nuke gear and for hawkorn smash lord we've got immortal then we've got the undead horde which looks like it was pretty reasonable here as well we know the second wave is really annoying with those valkyries so i would assume that L guys is pretty clutch for that part right there these two are not fully maxed out as for the gear on frozen banshee here we have um relentless blood gorge has uh, the nuke set from trunda gorgrab has immortal elagaius and husk have perception set all right then for the next two high elves and barbarians he unfortunately did not take a screenshot he wasn't exactly uh trying to complete faction wars as quickly as possible therefore he didn't do it at that time so we're just gonna have to go over the champions one by one for this one but then at the same time we can kind of check the gear as some of these pieces might have been the ones that were shuffled around for example his arbiter which is basically uh the speed gear that was being shuffled around okay so here's quickly uh the skills and then the masteries so that is part of the high elves team then we have uh, apothecary right here uh probably in his own sort of like setup skills are almost all done here are the masteries for the apothecary i believe we have a tayrell in this faction in this gear right here as for the skills they are pretty much all done masteries there they are we also have a royal guard in that faction here are the masteries the skills are not all done and then for the artifacts this is what he used and then i believe for this faction the last one was a thenasol here which was an immortal but as you can see right now he's not fully geared so part of these pieces were probably being shuffled around uh some of the skills are done and then for the masteries uh, there they are then we have the Barbarians, which obviously has a Sile of the Drakes in there, and he has her geared in a stun set with the one you see right there. The skills are done on this champion, and then and there are uh, the Masteries. Then we have a High Katoon right here. Masteries, not fully done. As for the skills, not fully done. And then here is the gear he currently has on her. We do have a trusty War Maiden. Here's the gear. I would assume perhaps this gear was sort of here. Maybe he moved it around because he was saying perception um which basically would uh, uh would mean that he swapped it around specifically for that but now maybe he re-geared his war maiden for something else and then he used two level 40 champions which he used as food later unfortunately he doesn't exactly tell me which champions these were perhaps they were berserkers perhaps like the first snipers or something of the sort but there are a lot of reasonably accessible barbarian champions that are worth being on of that team all right so that's the highlight of all the champions that he used and of course we want the proof to this and we have it this is straight from Plarium, guys. So here is the player ID number confirmed by our liaison at Raid that this is in fact free to play, and we can confirm of the player ID with this right here, right? So the numbers do match up. So congratulations to Shiva31 for doing this in apparently 12 
months. Uh, so I have the exact start date, which is February 25th, 2020. He did tell me he stopped playing for about a month and then started playing again. Now, if this is 13 months, instead of 12 months that is up to you guys i don't want to argue on exactly how long this was but basically the account was created 13 months ago according to him there's only 12 months of gameplay in there also here's a quick overview of all the information regarding of uh, the gear and whatnot okay so um I can, I can zoom in on this for you guys. If you want to have a look at this, you can pause, you can read uh, of all the gear that he used. But here's what I'm gonna do to finish off the video for you guys. I'm going to quickly go over the rest of the account, of the dungeons, the skills, and the masteries of these champions. But I'm not gonna talk throughout the whole time, just in case you guys might find something in there that would help you complete Faction Wars faster so congratulations to shiva31 thank you for watching the video and i will catch you guys later